Do you find yourself struggling with your physical appearance? Or perhaps you have some character or even bad habits that you might find unattractive or ugly? If that's you, stay tuned because in this video I'm going to show you how to exactly deal with this problem by accepting yourself more. And let's get started. Welcome back to this video. My name is Rav and I help people empower themselves by educating them on human behaviors and emotions. And in this video we're going to talk about this problem that most people have. I feel in this generation where there's a lot of Instagram filters and a lot of editing, color grading going on, it's easy to get lost and think that that's the real world out there. Whereas it's all like a made up world. Probably most of you guys don't know this, but I'm a photographer and I've worked with models, I've worked with real life couples, and my job is to enhance their looks to make them better. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just, you know, creating more beauty out of what is already there. But I have to admit myself that this kind of generational thinking is creating a lot of problem in people who are actually just normal. Because when they look at these pictures which have been unnaturally edited, they look at their own self-image or their image on the screen or mirrors, it just feels like there's something wrong with them. I find a lot of ladies coming to me when I'm like taking photos at events and they ask me as a joke like, can you make me look thinner? But it's funny because a lot of times these ladies that are asking me, I don't even think they're actually that overweight or anything like that. But that's just to show that they have a lot of problem that they're facing in their own self-image. And believe it or not, I used to struggle with this kind of problem myself even though I'm a guy. And I used to think that I was super ugly when I was growing up. And part of it had to do with, you know, people in my family as well as friend circle always teasing me for uh, my eyebrows as well as like my dark circles. And yeah, I used to get teased a lot for these problems, you know, and uh, I actually believed that I was a very ugly guy. Even nowadays, sometimes when I just like, catch my uh, reflection in the mirror I'll, I'll be kind of thrown off and I'll kind of like judge my own reflection for being ugly or whatever I have to kind of reframe my mind and I have to start accepting my image exactly as it is not like how I want it to look after I put some kind of filter on or not how other celebrities look and I have to make myself seem that way but the truth is that I'm just me you know I could probably change my looks to certain aspects and you could probably do the same, right? If you have like a bigger body, you might go to the gym and work out. And if there's a mean to solve the problems, by all means, go for it. But what if it's some kind of problem that would just require more than you working out or you trying to groom yourself and make yourself better? One thing that comes to my mind is the book Psycho Cybernetics. He actually talks about how some of his patients who, you know, like get plastic surgery on their faces, they start getting these higher forms of confidence in their life and the problem gets solved automatically. But for most people, that doesn't happen. No matter how much they change, they get addicted to the process, but they never actually address the root cause of the problem. So instead of directly going to perform the plastic surgery on them, Dr. Maxwell Mods, who was the writer as well as the plastic surgeon who would uh, ask a bunch of questions to these patients to see if they actually needed plastic surgery or if they actually needed like a kind of like shift in the mentality to, to get to that place where they would automatically start seeing them as more attractive human beings. And I feel that's a better way to go in life. There's this like physical beauty, but there's also an aura around you. That aura can't just be fixed by putting on makeup. But if you fix that aura, your physical beauty is gonna transform in other people's eyes too. Your appearance is just gonna start to appear more attractive whether you are a guy or a girl. So I have this simple practice that I would like you to do. For the next 30 days, what I want you to do is stand or sit in front of the mirror it's better actually if you have like a mirror on the floor that you can look at and the bigger the mirror is i think it's going to be better because you're going to be able to focus on yourself more so just sit in front of the mirror and you're gonna look directly at your image and also try to focus on that part that you find unattractive even if it's like some kind of behavior try to bring that on your mind and then repeat this phrase over and over again at least for 15 or 20 times and say this to yourself I love and respect you exactly as you are right now 
So focus on that body part which you find unattractive. Like for me, it could probably be just my like eyebrows, right? Because I used to get teased for it a lot like when I was younger. So I would just look at my eyebrow and I would repeat this mantra saying that I love and respect you exactly as you are right now. I love and respect you exactly as you are right now. So you keep going on with this mantra. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna start to reframe your beliefs about your appearance. When these beliefs get changed about yourself, the problems start to get solved more at a deeper level. And your image that you have in front of yourself is slowly gonna start to transform too. I'm gonna keep this video short because I just want you to focus on this mantra and just do it right away. Also, if you want to work one on one with me so we can address some of these problems at the core to get rid of these negative beliefs, I'm open to that too. The link is on my description where you can book me for a one on one coaching too. But with that being said, guys, I want to wish you all the very best. Goodbye and Namaste.